If you've been considering starting your own website this year, this video is for you. So I'm going to share with you when I decided that was the right time for me to start my own website and go beyond Etsy. So I don't know if you're probably selling on Etsy or Gumroad or social media. You know that these platforms, you don't own them. So Instagram can shut down tomorrow. Etsy can shut down your shop. And this has been happening quite often. I know so many people that lost their Etsy shops and they lost their Instagram accounts. So this does not happen when you do have a website. So we are going to talk about five reasons why you should consider starting your own website and if this is the right time for you. And even though having a website for an online business is extremely important and it can make or break a business, it's not for everyone right now. So throughout this video, we're gonna go through all the reasons why you should have a website. When is it the right time? Is it the right move for you right now? And so many other things. So let's dive into it. So if you are serious about your online business, keep watching. All right, so just a little bit of backstory. If you never watched any of my videos, I started on Etsy selling Notion templates and I didn't have an audience. I didn't have an email list. I didn't know about anything. So I just started on Etsy and when I reached 500 sales on Etsy, I was super happy, of course, but I also realized that that was potential on my products and there were a lot of people looking for those products. I had a lot of data as well on Etsy because you can see the keywords that people were looking for. So I decided to start my own website and keep in mind that when I decide that I was working full time for the NHS in the emergency department. So I was very busy. I was running my Etsy shop and I was trying to put this website on WordPress all by myself just watching YouTube videos so it took me nearly six months to launch my website it took a long time but it was worth it so this is why I'm gonna talk about all this with you today because even though it's an investment it requires not just financial investment but also you a lot of your time and you're gonna need to learn a lot of things if you are not if you don't have the resources to pay someone to do that for you but but fast forward today, I make daily sales coming from my website, from Etsy, and so inside Planetfly, I am all about creating freedom, creating passive income, and because that was my long-term goal, a website makes much sense on my case, but that's not for everyone. So first of all, I would not recommend starting a website if you never sold anything, if you don't have a product, if you have no social media so no content, no business and go and start a website. I wouldn't do that myself because it's a lot guys. I'm telling you, it's a lot of things that goes through putting a website together. And if I was starting today, my digital product business, I would start again on Etsy. And once I had momentum, once I had made sales and got feedback and knew that my product was validated, I would start my own website just like I did and it worked really well. So I got this email from one of my subscribers of the Freedom Club newsletter. So she said she's already making sales on her Etsy shop, but she wants to go beyond. She wants to start her own website and she wants to put some pins, um, write some blog posts and get the traffic there so she doesn't need to be competing with all the other sellers on Etsy and competing for price and you know all that that Etsy comes with it actually what I told her is that she needs to analyze her business her goals uh, because this is a big decision when you decide to leave you don't actually need to leave Etsy but when you decide to focus your attention on your website you are gonna lose a lot of momentum on Etsy because this is what happened with me I was having a lot of sales on my Etsy shop and then I was okay I'm gonna start my own website and I actually lost a lot of 
momentum that I was having on my Etsy shop and having a website is it's not just about putting the products there and writing all your copy and everything and expecting sales to come this is not going to happen at all if you don't do marketing if you don't have a proper marketing strategy you're not going to be found and you're not going to make sales and this is so much harder and much more complex than etsy because etsy used to do that all this work for me so this is why i want to be realistic with you guys is because having a website requires another level of you you need to be much more committed to show up to stand up on your business and to create content as well and even though creating blog posts and pins and seo stuff helps a lot to drive traffic to your website it's not enough on itself unless you are posting like 30 pins a day or something crazy like that which i never did you are not going to get a lot of views on your shop on your website and you're not going to convert into sales so just keep in mind that you need to have the resources you need to have the time you need to have a marketing strategy and you need to have some financial resources as well because also you're going to need to invest your money as well on having your website is a recurring expense and it's not only the website you also need a domain you need your website hosting you're gonna need a email platform email software okay so enough of that because i don't want to make you feel overwhelmed but let's go through the five main reasons why you should consider having your own website to differentiate yourself and to put all your products and offers into your own corner of the internet so let's go Okay, so the first reason why you should consider starting your own website is because you own it. And this is something that is so important on this digital age because just last week I went to Lisbon to a business event and I met so many female entrepreneurs and it was so fun. But I actually met so many people that lost their Instagram accounts. So I met one lady, she was a lawyer and she was growing her Instagram account for years and years. She had nearly 20, I think it was over 20,000 followers and that was her business. She didn't have an email list, she didn't have a website. All her business was Instagram and her Instagram got hacked and the hacker deleted her Instagram account. So she basically lost everything and she had the meta verified. She was paying for Instagram, you know, for all that security stuff, but it didn't work. So now she's she has to start everything from scratch she's starting a new instagram so this is one of the reasons why you should own your website because it's something that you have full control you can edit everything you can everything is under your control when an instagram is not so any social media just now i don't know when you are watching this video but right now there's a lot of people saying that tiktok is going to be banned so i don't know if that's true but but it can happen so if you are building your entire business in someone else's territory you are never gonna be safe and you are never gonna be like okay i own this i can trust this because yeah and this also applies to etsy just last week i was talking with all my new students that joined the academy and three of them that i spoke with they lost their etsy shops even though it was a new etsy shop they didn't have too many things going on there but Etsy just shut their shops down without any explanation they couldn't get it back so they are starting a new one from scratch and you've probably seen people on TikTok or on Instagram sharing about this problem because they are shutting down even big shops for no reason and when you have your own website is yours no one can take it from you you own it you bought it so it's yours no one can take it from you so this is one of the most important reasons why. The second reason why you should consider starting your own website is because it gives you so much credibility. Just for having a website, you are already standing out because anyone can put an Etsy shop together, anyone can start an Instagram account in a few hours, anyone can start a TikTok account, but there's but a very small percentage of people actually have a website. And this actually shows people that you are serious about your 
your business and also shows yourself that you are serious because I don't know if anyone can relate to this but when you start your website you actually start taking your business more seriously because you want you are paying for it you are paying every single month to have that website up so you want to make it worth it so you actually start really embodying this identity as a business owner instead of saying oh I just have this little shop on Etsy it's not nothing serious and it's just a little shop and that no when you have your website you have a business you are a business owner and you own your little corner on the internet Okay, so the third reason why you should consider starting your own website is to grow your email list. This is one of the most valuable assets that I have today on my business is my email list. Even if they shut down my Etsy shop, if they shut down my TikTok, my Instagram, I have my email list. I have a list of emails that I can contact them from people that bought from me, from people that said yes to a freebie that I offered and they are connected connected with me in some way and I can contact them. So on social media, you can't really do that if you lose everything. So start your email list as soon as you can, even if you are on Etsy. And this is something that I also teach to my students. Even if they don't have a website yet, they can start collecting emails from their Etsy customers, but you can't just go there and collect the emails. You need to find a different way. And this is something that I teach inside the Passive Income Academy, but we're not gonna go into that. So when you have your website, you can add those pop-ups or you can add freebies throughout your blog posts and throughout your website. So when people sign up, they are gonna be added to your email list so you can stay in contact with them, you can create relationships with them and eventually you can show your offers and sell to them. And also an email list is an official business asset so no one can take it from you as well. And the fourth reason why to start your own website is because it positions you as an expert on something. So when you sit down to put a website together, you need to get clear on who you are trying to help. How do you help them? You need to get clear on all those things. And when people come to your website and they are your target market, let's say you sell digital products for ADHD entrepreneurs. So you are going to position yourself as an expert that understands their problems. Maybe you have ADHD yourself, you have a business yourself and you solved your own problems and now you can help them solve their problems with your offers. When you have all the, your offers in one place, you share your story, everything is just a home for you to show your expertise and when people come to your website they immediately associate yourself as an expert on that topic. Okay, Leticia, but I have no idea how do I want to position myself. I want to help everyone. I just want to put a productivity planner out there. So this is something that I don't recommend to be super generalist because the market is getting competitive. So you need to find a way to differentiate yourself. I have a freebie for you. So I'm going to leave the link below. And this is a clarity challenge that I created for you. So you can go through your target audience, who do you want to help and how can you create products from your zone of genius. So this is something that I teach as well to all my students to create products from their interests, their experiences and everything that is based on their zone of genius. And this is what makes everything so much fun. So this clarity challenge is going to help you get clear on how you want to position yourself. And this is something that you need to be confident on when you are starting your own website. So I'll leave the link below just duplicate it for free using Notion and you can edit and journal and write down all your ideas and I hope that helps. And the fifth reason why is because you can keep 
everything in one place instead of oh follow me here on instagram grab this freebie find out about my course find out about my coaching program you can just keep all your offers in one place so you can uh, let's say you are going to a networking event just like i did last week you, instead of just oh grab this grab that just send your website first of all the first impression that people have when they check your website is they are gonna they want to find out about you they want to know what how you can help them and they don't want to know everything about you they just want to know how you help them so this has to be extremely clear on your website but you can also link to your offers your coaching program do you have a mini course do you have a free class a free workshop do you have templates to sell what what can you offer them what do you have to offer so everything that you have to offer you can just bundle them everything on your website in a very very organized way so you're not gonna just throw all your products there you're just gonna organize everything in one place so a website is a perfect place to just keep all your offers together and share them with other people so you can easily share your website on your social media on your email list and they can find out everything that they need to know about you and how you can help them So the video was just five reasons why, but I actually just came up with another one and it's gonna be a bonus one because it was something that really helped me throughout my journey because when I started on Etsy, I didn't have a niche. I was very confused about all this niche down and all these things. So I basically started launching all kinds of products, right? I didn't have a niche, but when I had to create my website, I understood how important it is this because how you gonna create your website and just say oh I help everyone to organize their lives in Notion and do this and that no this does not convert and this does not create connection so you have to get clear especially in your audience so if you can just get clarity in one thing this is the thing that I want you to remember from this video and to apply in your business because this is gonna help you convert in much more sales and this is something that I learned the hard way okay so get super clear on who you want to help who is this person and you can even imagine like a friend that you know that she has this problem you know where she is right now and how you can help them and even though people that come on your website they might not relate to everything they might not relate to your target audience but they can see you. so when you are creating a website you are gonna have have to spend a lot of time on this to write your copy to refine your message and everything starts with your audience so remember that and this process is going to give you so much clarity hopefully it's gonna get you super excited about your business because this is what it did to me I got so excited about the potential about creating products and creating more offers and everything to help this person because when you have the clarity on who you want to help is gonna make everything so much easier not just for people that come to your website to understand if that's the right product for them but also for you to create products because you cannot help everyone that would be great if you could but you can't so just pick the person that you know that you are able to help them you understand their problems maybe you are a stay-at-home mom maybe you have ADHD or maybe you just love books so you understand that they love books so you have some solutions for that. The options are endless. So don't forget that I created a freebie for you to help you with this, to get clarity, to understand who you want to help and how you help them. So this is going to help you to write the copy for your website. So I'll leave the link in the description, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can keep coming back and creating content like this for you. So I hope this video helped you get some clarity if that's the right time for you to create a website or if you really want to create a website if you are ready for this next level of commitment on your business so let me know in the comments if you are ready if you are planning to launch and i hope i see you on the next video bye